All right, everyone, how's it going? Um, I'll get my wee cursor, it's slipping out. Um, I just wanted to do a wee kind of, like, we'll document this, just in case anything changes, which is, um, as you see, I've up, just uploaded the fourth part of the Batman Arkham Knight um, series that I'm doing currently, and on four of the videos that I've uploaded, two of them have had, like, sub-party match content for, like, copyright. So I wanted to just kind of document this and like it says here the claimant is allowing the content to be used in your YouTube video however as may appear on it. So in other words monetization it goes to the claimant. Which to me is a completely fucked up system <coughs> because it's so automatic obviously because of the size of how in YouTube and how it works. Like so automated that somebody can just go boom put a claim on that and then straight away they're making money off of it and the thing is the system on one side is so quick, but the system on the other side is so slow. Like, all they need to do is, like, put up a, say, a library of music or something. I don't even know how it really works. And then, say, Bob McLean gets put on a video of that, music happens to pop up. But then you go to file a, a dispute, right? Um, I haven't done this, but you only get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options. And the one of the things that astounds me the most is the fact that it doesn't actually say in any of the options the person claiming um, copyright on this music doesn't hold any <laughs> ownership. How is that not an option? Can somebody please tell me how that is not Because we all know music is one of the biggest problems within copyright. How is it not an option? Can somebody please tell me? I mean, it's so retarded. And it just goes to show you, like, I'm telling you, man, YouTube is right up their own ass when it comes to, like, this kind of shit and how they make money. Millions and millions because it comes. Oh, fuck it. But anyway, um, besides that, um, so that's two claims on four videos. And I just wanted to say because obviously they're saying that I can use it, but I'm just not going to make money from it. They're going to take the money. So then what I did was because it was two of them, I tried to obviously go on the internet and find if they had any claim. Like I said in the last video, I couldn't find if they had any claim. I tried to go into their website, which is this shit here. Um, check new releases, news press, um, about, you just see like the kind of like general, I don't know, this is like the stuff that they've brought out, and there's only like one I can see from here, uh, or two, so the thing is, they do obviously do mu movie stuff every now and again, soundtrack, but I don't know if they do game stuff, and I can't see any connections, like you try to look for like affiliations, you know what I mean, general, uh, Stuff like that, you know what I mean, to see who, what companies that they've worked with and things that they've worked on. So you think, well, maybe they've worked with Warner Brothers. Then obviously, yeah, they have a claim, but it's so, like, vague and shit that I can't see any of that. Then you go to, I wanted to do contact. So then, because it's obviously the saying in the video is that it's perfectly fine for me to use the stuff, um, they just take the money from it, right, that's one thing, but I wanted to make sure that it doesn't change because I've actually contacted them, and now because I'm stirring up shit a wee bit, not anything really, but because they'll just, like, I'll be, I'll be lucky if they even reply back to me, to be honest, because I'm not a big-ass company, I'm just this one dude, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure it doesn't change from, like, oh, you're stirring shit up, hey, get a copyright strike, get a strike on your channel, because as you know, I said, you only allowed three strikes, and your channel gets shut down, and you're screwed, but, um, so general inquiries, you go straight away, look, this is how often that happens, that they've got YouTube video claims there. They've obviously put this in because it happens a lot. Which of course, Microsoft, I don't have Microsoft Outlook. So I've just done like a general uh, inquiry, and then there you go, look, company and telephone, like that's mandatory fields. Like, yeah, but we'll only take your time and talk to back to you if you're with a company. Like, what is that about, having company there? I mean, I can see if and company, and um, if it's optional, but you have to put something within that field, or else you can't send the inquiry along. So I'm just waiting to see if they're going to actually message me back and say anything to say whether they do have affiliations with Warner Brothers. You know what I mean? Like they do work together on occasion, and they can show me some stuff. Because as far as I can see on any information, I type in like Ingrows. They've got <laughs> I don't even know Ingrows works on Batman and things like that. Try to find anything to show. I even looked up the guy. Uh, not this guy, but the other guy, to, or like on his Twitter and stuff like that, to see if he was working in grooves, and then I tried to message him, but he was also Microsoft Outlook. I was like, God damn it, man, I just want to talk to these dudes. So, I want to see if it, just document it in case anything changes, you know, like, shit hits the fan. Um, to show you how they kind of 
treat people. I mean, nothing could happen, but it's better off to show how things stand at the moment and see if there is. I kind of believe that fellow dispute thing, by the way. It's so stupid. Anyway, um, I just, as I say, want to document this, and I'll catch you all next time.